G'day, Travis Denham from McGain Real Estate. Just thought we'd give you all a bit of a preview for what's happening season 2021. Danny at Ronella Wineflies. Got a couple of the uh, main movers and shakers that we'll have a chat to and uh, let you know how we're gonna go this year. Now I'm here with Craig Austin, A-grade coach for 2021 season. Craig, uh, how are we looking for this year? Very good, Travis. Yeah, yeah. I'm really, really excited for this year. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of young blokes, an exciting group building on last year when uh, with COVID, so it slowed yeah. us down a little bit with injuries and lack of depth, but this year we've got a lot of depth. Well, you've worked with a lot of these kids right through from juniors. I have under eights, actually. Wow. <laughs> Your time with the club's obviously been for so long, and a good first round win against Porties, I think, right across the club. Yep. That was the encouraging start of the season. For us, we usually get flag stuff, and that, that's yep. uh, a real hassle, and yeah. we seem to be in the game for a half a game, and then we seem to just fall away and so that first win is always hard to get where now we're up and about, we've had a win and we're really excited for the next one. That's awesome mate, so we're looking forward to a good season ahead. We are. Just here with Tim Kelly, B grade coach. Um, tell us Tim, how are you looking for 2021? Yeah, optimistic actually. Uh, massive pre-season and plenty of numbers. Certainly right. you know, as a B grade coach couple, the past couple of years, looking for numbers throughout the year as we had injuries. Yeah. Had the luxury this last week of having 12 extra blokes, unfortunately who couldn't get a game. Wow. But certainly creates a positive environment of um, competitive pressure within the team. Absolutely, it's gonna be the best outcome for the club. When Absolutely, you're... yeah, as reflect on the weekend, you know, so Solid sort of win, yep. hoping to use the next couple of weeks as a bit of a springboard, set, us, set ourselves up for the, next, the rest of the year. Yep, good. Much youth coming through? Yeah, I mean, we've been really lucky to get a lot of guys back from clubs. Well, this was their home club, and then sort of looked elsewhere, and then now have come back. I think, you know, probably the culture that we're building around the club here yep. is a pretty attractive thing. Yep. So guys will be looking to come back and stay back here. What's your forecast, and what do you want to get out of season 2021? Yeah, so I think, um, Individual player developments are really good ones. It's probably a mixture of short-term success this year, which we're always driven around, yeah. but certainly um, a bit of a platform for the next two or three years. Right. And, and that really falls back on developing young kids, yep. um, keeping them engaged at the footy club, and, yep. and then really improving their skills as well. Yep. Because I know personally, look, my lad played six years of minis through here, and there's, yeah. a, there's a, I keep my eye on those kids in that kind of 13, 15, that kind of age bracket. Yep. I know that the, the future looks bright for the club, and uh, yep. looks like if you can kind of stream that through from this year, looks like uh, good things ahead for Ronella Footy Club. Absolutely, I think it's probably reflective of the amount of kids that we've got playing at South Adelaide. Yep. You know, we had a lad who played with the Crows earlier this year, so so we welcome the opportunity for those guys to go and continue their development. Development, yeah. you know, especially at that elite level, yeah. and then knowing that we've built the sort of culture where they want to come back to the club. Yeah, that's great. Good on you, Tim. Thanks for your awesome. time, mate. Pleasure. So it's a really exciting year ahead by the looks for Ronella Footy Club, and as I have been for a number of years, I'm really looking forward to being involved with the club yet again. Just a reminder out there, if you've got a house to sell, or if you have an investment property that you're renting, and you look at coming and using me, We'll donate back to the club as we've done for many years. We give $500 back to the club for every rental that we manage or every property that we sell. So go Wine Flies for 2021. I'll look forward to chatting with you soon.